Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, we will be looking at uh, how to do integration in Python. Now, uh, if you guys have to, uh, uh, if you guys have to do a calculation, calculate the integral between of a function between two points and everything, mostly what we'll do is that we just find the definite integral using our hand, using our uh, uh, using the rules we learned in calculus. Calculus, apply the limits, use basic algebra and get them out. Okay, and uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, for simple functions it's okay, fine. For complicated functions, uh, it becomes a kind of a tire tiring job. And what if you have to do a lot of integrations again and again and again? I mean, a similar a simple routine job kind of a thing again and again, then it becomes a little annoying, right? So one simple way to do that. Okay, one simple way it, uh, you can find the integrations of integration of those kind of sort is, sim is uh, use some functions which already which already has routine which already has um, algorithms defined to find the integration. Okay, and that is actually given by uh, that is actually given by some methods called as numerical quadratures. They are just numerical methods uh, developed uh, for calculating the the integrals. Okay integrals in several other job okay python has those uh, features available okay sorry for that okay, coming back python has those features and uh, numerical quadrature is one of them okay to do that okay let's look at uh, let's look at an example okay now uh, what you need is that uh, you need something called you need uh, you need this uh, you need a library called as SciPy. As I told you guys in one of the earliest tutorials, SciPy is actually stands for Scientific Python, and it is actually it is actually uh, a library the uh, module which has a lot of functions and f lot of functions and objects and classes uh, defined for doing a lot of scientific operations. And what we're going to do is that using that in that library uh, in that module. We are going to use this function called as uh, function called as quad. We are going to import. We are going to import that particular function alone. Okay, and we are going to use that. And this is actually our uh, quadrature. Okay, this is actually our quadrature function. Okay, and if you guys have any questions like uh, what to do and what is this numpy scipy dot inter quad pack or everything, we don't know what's going on. Just open internet browser and type scipy dot integrate dot quad pack and I press enter. Uh, over, not, doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Uh, you will get a lot of references regarding scipy. And now, sci what does this does is that it is actually integration and object integration and uh, ordinary differential differential equation commands like that. What quad does is that it just try it just calculates the uh, in this case is a definite integral of a function between two limits a and b between two two limits a and b and it uses quad pack or it just uses a quad pack or okay quadrature package fortran library under the hood okay really that's one of the reasons why these functions are kind of much faster in python because they underneath under the hood they use integrated in i mean compiled programming language languages like fortran or c to do the, all of this job okay now the procedure that you have to do is that is that first of all define a function first of all define a function now this example is an extremely lame and simple example okay but you guys will understand what's going on over here okay so just follow up with me okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to import these three for these four lines so copy that and oh, i already have my spider available so i'm just going to delete all this i don't want these okay paste it okay now as of now i don't want this i don't know i don't want this uh, i don't want this okay fair enough okay quad this quadrature package is used for solving the uh, inter finding the integral uh, plt is for, for plotting and np is just for the numpy array that's it and then what i'm going to do is that i'm um, okay i don't i don't need b as of now Okay, first of all, you need to define a function to plot. Now, uh, sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, now, 
Now this is your function. Now what it does is that this is actually a simple, a simple a single variable function. Okay, they give it defined by def func. Okay, it takes our argument x and it's going to return the x itself. So this is this will be of the type x equals y. The function y equals x. That's it. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, now uh, this function is over. Now this is this is the function that is going to integrate. So let me give a comment on the top. Uh, function to be integrated function to be integrated simple as that okay that's about that's about the integrate integrate uh, come on i'll just close this that's about the function integral next thing what we need is that uh, let's now we define we define that the function has an input variable x so let's define how what the range of x is so so let by linspace command i uh, let me set the range of x to be between 0 and 10 and it let, let there be like 210 point 201 points between them so that's about that now uh, if, if i were to go to spider copy this up okay and now let's see what's going on now and this is the main line okay so let me copy this and paste it over here now pay close attention now this command now this line has two arguments on the left hand side just one argument on the right hand side integral comma err now uh, quad function quad function what it does is that it takes the function as the object so it just function it just takes the input function or the function that has to be integrated as the as an argument okay and then it takes two int two values this is actually a lower limit of the integral and this is actually upper limit of the integral fine okay now what this quadrature fun quadrature function uh, returns is that it turns two values one of them is integral another one is err now integral is actually it is actually the area under the curve of this function between the limits one and five. Okay, and error is the possible numerical error that can ha that 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 can that is available that is po that that is possible. See, uh, when when the compute when your Python does all your numerical computations, okay, <coughs> because of uh, floating point numbers and how they store and everything. Whatever you have, whatever the answer you get is not completely exact. You just you'll just get a pro slight approximation. So er error will give you the maximum possible estimate of possible estimate of an error that is possible because of this er inter integral. Okay, that's how this does. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is that let me just print them up. Let me just uh, print them up. It's not a big deal. Okay, now let's run this up run this okay now this now the function is nothing but uh, it's nothing but an area of the triangle so let me go to my journal and let me explain what's going on okay my uh, uh, variable is x okay my f of x equals x so your function y equals x okay now if you take a graph sheet graph sheet now if this function y equals x will go like this okay now the integral now if you look at the if you look at the limits of this integral uh, the uh, it's between 1 and 5 so what you'll have is that this is your x axis and this is your y axis okay now this is x equals 1 and this e this is x equals 5 okay I just, and this is the this in this is the area under the curve and this is your y r equals f of x equals x okay and this is the integral the area now if you notice this is actually a trapezoid this is actually a trapezoid now this is actually a this is actually a trapezoid okay and now area of a trapezoid area of a trapezoid is actually uh, sum of uh, half times some of the parallel parallel sides a uh, 5 plus 1 okay uh, what's the okay 4 okay sorry uh, sorry about that yeah some of the par uh, some of the parallel sides 5 plus 1 okay times the distance between the times the base now the base is actually x equals 5 x equals 1 here so the distance actually is 4 so if you look at it 
this 2 2 cancels out this 4 and 2 cancels out so already have a 6 times 2 this is area equals 12 units 12 square units 12 square units so the integral is actually for this function is 12 square units okay and that is what we get over here okay if you look at the if you look at the area I mean the integral is 12 units which is exact and the possible error could possible error is in order of 10 power minus 13 not bad okay now what now the remaining part of the program what I've done is that I've just uh, created a create a new variable called a sections which is which has it is linearly spaced between 1 and 5 with 20 points in between okay and plotting the function x and f function of x so that you get a straight line like this and then what I do is that I just plot I just plot uh, I have a function uh, option called as fill underscore between and then I pass section and func section function of section and then face color red what it does is it just fills the color so if you run both of them you'll get a plot with the area under the curve area under the integral a colored with red okay filled with red so nothing nothing much nothing fancy about it so if you just print this up okay now watch this so section is not defined huh okay i think oh yeah i missed this line on the top okay so this should work fine okay now if i run this yeah perfect perfect now this is the area of the area under the curve not bad not bad huh now similarly if you want to do a little more complicated function like uh, uh, x square uh, something like this Ret uh, ret return x square like that now what does it is uh, your function is f of x equals x square okay now if i were to run this check it out check it out your area is actually x cube by 3 and that's how it is so for if f of x equals x square your integral will be a of the integral is actually x cubed by 3 between the limits between the limits uh, okay between the limits 5 and 1 so what you'll have is that 125 by 125 minus 1 divided by 3 so this is actually 124 divided by 3 and that should be a pro uh, this is 40 41 my uh, 1 41.333 so on that's how you get and if you look at the answer it's also the same 41.333 and the plot is also the same simple as that now uh, that is how you do integration in python now in the next tutorial we will be looking at a little more complicated uh, integration okay i mean the same integration but let, let's look at a little more uh, a little, little more of a complicated uh, example to see what's going on thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time